Hello everyone, my name is Cap and welcome back to the channel. Some more Planet Crafter. I made myself another Veggie Tube Tier 3 and put that golden flower we got in there last time. So we got both of them over here. You see how much oxygen we're making. It's going up the fastest. It's rocketing. We're almost up to a million. I want to see what it does when it rolls over a million if we unlock anything. Okay, we're at the parts per billion now, so it's going to go up a little bit slower. Look, all right. So we got a few supplies on us, some water and some O2. We need to run back towards the ship that's over that direction. I'll get turned around a little bit here. Because I believe if you go around the backside, there is a way to get up in these canyons. We need to find some osmium. In order to be able to make the ore extractor, we have to have some osmium. And we need a bunch of high level resources. We need a lot more uranium to make some uranium rods. In order to be able to make any kind of rockets, in order to be able to get either the mapping or the uranium meteors to come in, we gotta have rockets. So that's the direction we're going today is some of the really high level crafting. We need to get inside these canyons though and see if we can't figure out how to get up to the upper levels. I've done it before, but I don't exactly remember which way I went to do it. It's been a little bit. So we'll get over to this way first and kind of come in through the backside and see if we can't figure it out. All right, topped off our oxygen. So it looks like the elevation of this sandy area goes up on this direction. We're gonna go up this way first and foremost to see if this is a way to get to the higher level of this place. I'm really glad it doesn't slow you down going uphill. Okay, so we made it to the top. Yeah, you're just gonna go all the way around that backside there. So maybe we can start finding some of the really good higher level stuff here. Like, look, super alloy just laying on the ground. How fantastic is that? That's the kind of stuff we need is the good stuff. It's freaking dark over here. So we got these girders that we can walk across if we need to. Uh, let's see, we got another blown out ship here. I'm not sure if we can get inside. I don't want to risk falling off. Man, I wish it... Okay, so it's really cloudy. So it's freaking dark outside makes it a little challenging to see what's going on so we can't go in that way we don't want to fall down there unless we you know we don't want to fall down there at all let's see can i bust apart this i can maybe we can get inside this place i need to clear out a little bit more for it a little bit more okay surely i can make that jump yeah all right so we found another shipwreck that's gonna be fantastic what do we have in here? We got some more fabric, some more uranium. We definitely need the uranium. Space food, we're okay. You know what? Top it off. Hate to, but I need to. Bean seeds, eggplants, lerma. Okay, so we'll take the aluminum. If we have to start dropping stuff off, we'll figure out what we need to before we get to that point. But man, this was a gigantic ship. Nice. Super alloy, uranium, more fabric. I know, I know. Lerma, Lerma, Pistera, and Lerma. Okay, so nothing that's better than what we already have. Another blueprint chip. We need that. Maybe we can unlock something really cool with that. Okay, so that just goes to a drop-off. Could probably take that apart. More super alloys, more uranium. Oh, hang on. I should probably go ahead and use one of these before he passes out. So, we're a little bit closer to critical than I was paying attention to. No big deal. The uran uranium will take... Uh, let's see. Fabric. Last time we only needed two of them, so we'll take one more just to see. Another super alloy. Nice. Iridium. Anything. Okay, some more mushrooms and some more uranium. Okay, so we're topped off now. Aluminum is always good to have, of course. If we need to drop some iron off, we can. I hate to leave behind iron because of how much we actually use it, but look, we got another blueprint in here. What? Do we have anything in good here? We got beans, squash... Another Nulna, Pestera, Space Food. Okay, well, we need this chip right over there, so I need to probably leave behind some iron. I can get that easier than I can get most other things. Nice, go ahead and sort you out so I can find you. Okay, so that just sorted out all kinds of weird. It sorts it out alphabetically. Okay, let's go over here. We need to see if we can find some... Uh... Ooh, nice. Oh, man, we're gonna, we're gonna be full on crap. Now it's gonna be like... I need the good high level stuff and it's too far, I'm too full for it. We'll have to come back over here kind of thing. We've got a super alloy over there. I think we can make that jump, but I'm going to check just around. See, this is where you want to be right here. Super alloys are fantastic. And I think if you do it right, if you use the recycler to break down some things, this is where you can also get some uh, of the resources back. Put a super alloy in there, deconstruct it and call it good. But you can see they're just like laying around all over the place. We are full almost. No, we got seven super alloys on us. That's great. Oh God, we almost didn't make that one. 
I almost, I almost muffed that jump. I'm trying to find some of the alert, uh, Salern. Wait, what is that called? Wait, what is it called here? Osmium. I don't know what l word I was thinking of, but it wasn't that. So I need some Osmium, but I'm not quite sure if that's something you find on the ground or if that's something that has to be made. I'm not sure yet. Ooh, we got a chest over there. Uh, let's see if there's a better way to go than trying to make that jump right there. Maybe I can get around over on this side. I know I can't make that jump. Okay, this should do that though. Can I get around this? Oh, that's kind of close. Okay, we got a bio lab. I'm sure that's what I need all that biomass stuff for that I've been picking or that I've seen. Okay, let's go this way. I want to get to this chest first. But yeah, this is how you go about getting to the top of the canyons. And what you can do is you can make a ladder system outside stairs. It only takes iron. You can make a platform to make it so you can climb yourself back up here the easy way. Instead of having to go all the way around the backside. It's not a bad idea to do that too. And I'm trying to backtrack around to find this chest. Oh, there it is. Okay, there's the girder. Oxygen low. Yeah, it is a little bit low. Whoa, calm down. Okay, go ahead and use some more oxygen. Top that out. How many more do I have? I have one more oxygen on me. Okay, so we get down. To, oh, good God. That made me pucker up a bit. I'm not going to lie. Uh, more super alloys. I need those. The uranium. One, two, three, four, five, six. I know I need... I know I needed at least six more to make a uranium rod. At least six more. It's kind of sad that I have too many super alloys now. Uh, aluminum, I guess I can leave those behind and take these. Water's low too, huh? Well, you're just kind of whiny today. There we go. Fill you up real quick and I can take this last one. And we're pretty full. So I think what I need to do is I need to get back to the house while I still have one oxygen canister left. We can go out the front of this ca um, canyon this time and I think it'd probably behoove me to go ahead and make a ladder system get up here and that way I can just I can go see there's my house right there I can come over here build a ladder straight up to like right over here in my little stopping point I can get up to the top and then I can make it across these girders now I still didn't find any osmium so I'm not entirely sure I thought you found that in the canyons but I could be mistaken so anyway let's see if we can do this okay that that lovely crunch is always what you like to hear Okay, let's get back to the house real quick. We might have enough stuff where we can make the... Wait, we, we can't make... We still can't make this because we didn't find any osmium. I don't know where you find osmium. That might be something you have to get well, like within a different part of a cave that I haven't even been to yet. But if nothing else, maybe we can make a missile. Alright, I wanted to see. We got magnetic field protection rocket and asteroid attraction rocket. Attracts uranium asteroid, gives global heat generation bonus... So, two separate alloys, a rocket engine, and either silicon or cobalt. Okay, that's not too bad. Now, what do I need to make the rocket engine? I'm not... I don't remember. It's been a minute. Let's go see what we need to make a rocket engine. An iridium rod and two uranium super alloy. Oh, nice. We have an iridium rod. We made one of those. We actually have... You know, we're a little bit full here. Uh, real quick, while we have it, I want to go deconstruct the... Or decode these, I should say. Something fun. An area lamp. Okay. And GPS... Ooh, a GPS satellite? Where... Uh, is that a... Where's that at? Where are you? Is that something I make over here? Where's the... Where is that? Okay, I'm, I'm not going to worry about that right at the moment. Uh, hang on. So what I was needing, both the iridium rod, uranium rods, iridium rods, and we can make a rocket engine. I think I might be able to make two your rocket engines. I can. Nice. I'm going to need those. Um, but you can make a jump jet with the rocket engines too. Okay, so we need, we got super alloys. We got one, two, three, four. We got some of those. So we needed... Magnesium and cobalt. Was it two of each one, I think? Let's go see if we can't make a rocket. We can launch our first missile. That could be kind of cool. I haven't ever launched a missile on this one. I have made the platform, made it up to the top, probably fell off and broke a leg because that's what we do. But I've never launched a missile, so we definitely need to do that. 
We're at 1.73 MTI, so we're we're cooking it, man. So, oh, oh, that's what it was, GPS satellite here. Okay, so that's probably what we need for the mapping thing. We have to make a, another rocket, two super alloys. So, I think we can technically make... Oh, I need one more cobalt, and I needed silicon for that one. Okay, let me grab one more cobalt. All right, got what we need for the asteroid detraction rock shit. That could be something kind of useful. Oh, man, that is cool. That's like an ICBM. Hang on, I want to see this from the... Uh, this is going to have to be a screenshot, obviously, for the thumbnail on this one. That's fantastic. Look at that. We made a friggin' rocket. Oh, yeah. That's lovely. Now we gotta launch it, of course. It's probably not the safest idea, the fact that the launch button is right there. I mean, if this thing has any kind of exhaust trail behind it, it's gonna cook us. But, you know, we're not here to argue the science. We just wanna launch some rockets. Okay, ready? Boom! We have liftoff. We've cleared the tower at 1313. Godspeed. Okay, so that's supposed to be raining down some, bring in some asteroid attraction. Attracts uranium asteroids, which we need, gives global heat generation bonus. Go do your thing, man. Oh, hell, it, that works fast. Oh, crap. Let's get inside the base. We got uranium asteroids hitting the ground here. It, it hit closer to over here, but not on the base, but it's like right there works good. Okay, uh, let's top off the oxygen and just go see what it's going to give us here. That sounded like it was real close. Oh, that hit on top of the rock over there. Oh, okay, that one's close by too. <laughs> it's kind of terrifying because you can hear them coming. Nice, this may be a good way to get some good uranium. I don't know how many, I don't know what the conversion ratio is, obviously, of it, you know, uh, how many how much uranium you can get from these asteroids versus how much it costs to send them up, you know? Okay, that's nice. So it's basically just pure uranium laying on the ground. I don't have to mine it out or anything. That's fantastic. We're gonna have to make some more storage just to be able to hold all this uranium. Well, if nothing else, maybe we'll start glowing green and get all pissy when things don't go our way. Okay, that sounds like that's the end of it. Oh, that's fantastic. I don't know how long these last as far as once they're on the ground, you know, how long it takes for them to despawn, but oh, that's awesome. Eventually, these rocks that it did drop with it, you know, when it crashed on the ground, these will go away too. And so any kind of materials you can find on there will be easier to see. Now, hold on. And they glow a little bit green, so it's kind of easy to see from a distance if you can see the light. Um, I can see you. Where are you? Uh, I think it's like underneath. It's I need the rock to go ahead and disappear. How much do we have? Well, we got a decent chunk of uranium. That's nice. We need to make the other rocket so we can... We need some more silicon. There's some. And I think we needed one more silicon and then we can get that one ready to go too from everything we had, right? Sweet, sweet. Okay, let's get the other rocket launched over here. That's so cool. Oh, there's some more... Oh, I'm full. But once I make this missile... No dirt storms. We're launching missiles today. Oh, this is cool. Kind of want to just launch them for funsies. All right, so the other one is a magnetic field protection. Attracts iridium asteroids. Gives a global generation bonus for protecting the magnetic field. So that one's useful too. We get uranium and iridium. I need to dump off all the stuff that I have here first before I launch another rocket and get yet another meteor storm. And it wouldn't hurt to go ahead and top off some of my resources. Like oxygen, water, stuff like that. Oh, man, we are chunky. Look at this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and make one uranium rod just to kind of clear up some inventory space here because it takes up a lot of space. Food level's low. Hang on, I think I have some food over here. There we go. How about eggplant? There we go. That's not going to completely fill it up. How are you? You're at 100%. Nice. Take you, take you, and go ahead and replenish you. And I'll go ahead and just eat you. Kind of get everything back up because I accidentally maybe sort of fell off earlier. Maybe. You don't know. We didn't see anything. Okay. Let's see if we can go find... Let me see. There was another meteor that hit, I think, right over there. If we can go get some more uranium, because we're going to need a bunch of those uranium rods to be able to make some of the things that we have to get. Now, I don't exactly know how, again, to go about getting the osmium that we need to. I could have swore that was something you found in the cave system over there, but... 
Maybe not. But if we can get a ton of this stuff before we call in the Iridium, that would be great. I don't care if I have an entire chest full of this. Yeah, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to have a lead-lined chest to store all this stuff in there before, so I don't start growing a fourth arm. Can I get up? Now we can. I thought I saw a, saw a glow right over here. Is that all the glow? Let's look over here. So I guess that's all of the uranium from this area. Wait, I see somewhere over that way too. That's so cool. That is okay. So there you go. That pro tip for you. That's how you get high level materials like uranium and iridium. You call in a meteor strike. All right, that's good to go. What I technically need to do, what I really need to do before I get too much more advanced of it is I need to make myself another nuclear reactor. I think that's why I was needing the uranium to start with because I'm to the point now my power consumption is just barely less than my power usage. Somehow or another, that doesn't use any power, but I guess, you know, the rockets themselves are self-propelled, so I don't really need like electrical unit run out to it. So I need to make another nuclear charger here. Okay, so three super alloys, uranium rod, and a water bottle. Okie dokie. I knew I needed uranium rod. So knew that there's super alloy and water bottle. Is that all I need? That's all I need. All right, this one go up top with the other one because we can't put it down here. Okay, let's see. I could probably deconstruct you since you're just a tiny little thing. Deconstruct you. I know, I know. It's terrible. Just a second and we'll be back up to speed though. Oh, crap. I need another water bottle. Okay, nothing die on me. I'll get some more water. Hang on. There we go. Okay, now we can get a second reactor going. There we go. Now we should have a ton of power. I could technically take apart all these, but since they're already up here, same thing with the wind turbines. They're not generating that much. I mean, they make 1.2 kilowatts per second, but they're already there. If I need the resources, I can break them down. Let's see how we're doing here now. We're making 315 using 230. So those two combined make 173. The wind turbines make six. But again, they're already there. It's making six for me. If I remove them, I, <laughs> there's no reason to remove them right at the moment. Okay, so how is our resource generation going up? Our heat's doing really good. Oxygen's rocketing. Pressure is going up okay. The next thing we were really wanting to make was the ore extractor, but we don't have any osmium. I'm not sure where to get that. So what I need to do is I need to be able to get back and forth to the canyon. I could probably... The recycling... Breaks down objects to their core components. Shredder destroys them. No. That one we're okay on. Another food grower would be useful probably. We need to get some more osmium. Okay, so for stairs. Where's the stairs? These and platforms. We need just a ton of iron. How much stuff I have on me? I am completely full of stuff. Okay, so for the different stairs that I want to try to make. Okay, so it's iron for that and iron for the foundation grid. So you can kind of make a little platform, basically, if you need to. Uh, I want to try and make some stairs that go all the way up to the top of the canyon so I can just go back and forth, make life a little easier. Save real quick. Okay, uh, I have... I don't have any water on me, but this should be completely full of water by now. Yep, consume you, take, take you with me. There we go. Okay, so let's see. That's the direction of the main wreck. This is the direction of the of my other stopping point. I think it's right over there. Oh, there's some more uranium right here. Might as well grab it. Nice. That's so cool. Yeah, we'll do the iridium rocket. We'll launch it here in just a bit, but we don't need it raining down stuff just yet. We're, we're kind of full. I'm going to end up having to have a dedicated chest just for each one of these, which is not really an argue, you know thing to have a complaint about. Nice. Okay, well, it's probably be a good idea to throw this back home real fast, and it's dark again. Okay, I'm just going to make another uranium rod because they take up way less inventory space than anything else. And we got a sign, so I guess if I really need to organize, I can stick a sign up there. No biggie. Okay, now we can go about doing what I said I was going to do. We have our extra stopping base right over there, I think. And from there, I should be able to make some stairs going up. That's... Man, this game is so much fun. And yeah, I know that some people are just like, eh, it's not as much fun when there's not a threat of like, I don't know, getting hit by something, getting eaten, nothing trying to bite you, that sort of thing. It's just a different level of threat. Your threat is the environment around you. It is so dark. Even my flashlight's not there. We need a tier two torch is what we need. Okay, they, so if I get up to there, that could be good. Did I get everything that was in you? 
No, tell you what. Free food, might as well use you. Top that off. Okay, now let's see if we can't make ourselves some stairs. I don't know how big they are and I've never really tried to ma uh, make a set of stairs go all the way to the top of a canyon before, so. Uh, so what I could do is I could do like this. That'll put me up to here and then I can do another set of stairs right on the outside ledge of this. Going up that way. And can I do another one right here? that work I think I can probably it's it's wonky looking it kind of looks stupid but it'll work for now and then if I can get another one right over here then I should be able to get up there right right there okay so we got some stupid looking elevator there we go now we got an easier path to get back up and down this canyon here not too big a deal but unless you just fall off that's fantastic too but we got a broken stupid looking stair system so at least we can go up and down if we need to it's hideous. It really is, but it works. I'm not one for uh, arguing aesthetics too much. But this should allow us to be able to get back and forth over to this general area, I think. We may end up have built that in the wrong spot. We might be in a part of the canyon we can't walk around on. And apparently I'm a part of a canyon where I'm clipping through some of the rocks, so that's not cool. Yeah, I don't think I'm supposed to be up in this particular part. I'm inside the world here. Hey, uh, devs, if you're watching this, I found a spot I'm not supposed to be in. My bad. All right, so if I came up this direction and I got right up here, I could technically make some stairs to go up that way. Maybe it would be less unhappy with me going this way. All right, now we can get up to right there. That should do that. Got a small little gap there, not a big deal, and... There we go. All right. We made it back up where we're supposed to. It's not clean. It's not pretty, but it's functional. That's all we were going for. Uh, resource wise, we've got enough to make some more stairs if we need to, some ladders sort of thing. I don't know if, hang on. I'm curious is there something like a foundation grid? Can I put you like right here between the canyons or is that something that has to be? No, I was thinking maybe you could do that to make like a little bridge across, but apparently not. No big deal. At least we're up to the top. Another super alloy. We'll use a ton of those. I'm just happy we got some rockets going. That's freaking cool. Can get the rest of the aluminum that was in here. Space food we're okay on. Okay, we're gonna run in here real quick. We This is the one we went into last time. Actually, no, we did go into this one last time. Okay, so since it's daylight, maybe we can see a little bit better if there's anything else that we're possibly missing, just in case. Last time we were a little bit full when we came through, so there's a bunch of fabric in here, which is great if we ended up needing that. All right, so I think we got everything that was in this particular place. I, again, I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to look up where you find Osmium at here. Uh, we used our last oxygen tank too, so we should probably start getting ready to head back to the actual base. Just in case, I, we can stop off our little temporary spot over here, make sure that we don't run out of, uh oh run out of oxygen first. I think we came in... No, we didn't come over there. Came in right here. Okay, a little bit weird, but we made it down. That whole clipping through this particular rock thing is a little bit odd for sure, but this probably is not the best place to build the ladder, but it works. We ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six, like 10 super alloys. I kind of want to make the recycler drop one in there and see if it does anything. I know I need to make a couple deconstruction modules, which is normally what you put your backpack in or put in your backpack, I should say. But eh, we'll see when we get over here and I will see if I can make this recycler. Um, I'm not sure if I can or not, but we'll see if we can make a recycler, break down a super alloy and see if it gives us two. We might get the osmium we need from breaking apart something. I can't imagine, I can't, I can't, I can't think of what I could break anything down to. I wouldn't think breaking down like a super alloy is going to give you something that it didn't require to make it. You know what I mean? Okay. Let me go ahead and drink a water real quick. Okay. So for a recycler, we need two microchip deconstructions. Okay. So for the deconstruction ones, we need two silicon, two magnesium can do two magnesiums, two, oh, we're full, hang on. Drop you off. Okay, let's make these real quick. Deconstruction chips. Okay, dokie. 
that should be everything we need for the recycler recycling machine yep uh let's see uses 12.5 on the energy level now where am i going to put this i'm not sure if anybody knows but this place is a little bit full i you could i could technically like stack something on top of this one and have a ladder going up to it how stupid would that look from where it's at let me see i don't think i can uh, i might be able to do one right here i think i might be able to do that let's see here but I'll live, I need another titanium, and I'll, I'll build another living compartment up there real quick. Use the last one we have. And I'll have to put a ladder in either right there. That should work. Should. Our base is just kind of form function here. We build it as we need it, right? There. There we go. Nope, let me down. Okay, I think that should... Uh, let's see. That's... So, if I built a, uh, where's it, an uh, indoor ladder. Okay, so I need one cobalt. Now, if I put you right, where'd you go? Right there. Face you the right direction. Wait, which is the right direction? I think that's the right direction like that. Nope, that's going to look stupid if I do it like that. Let's do it right. I don't like that. Uh, let me see. Put you right here. As close as we can get to the wall. That's facing the wrong way. But at least we made it up here. That is stupid looking. We got to fix that. I, no likeies. Okay, so the dome part needs to go on the back side of the wall. There we go. That looks better. Now we can get up here and we can make our recycler if we want to. I'm not even sure how big this place is. Biology and chemistry lab allows craft of bio recipes. See, that's another thing we need the osmium for. I need to figure out what I need to make that. I may, I may have not unlocked the machine I need to be able to make it yet too. That's always something there like the... Um, I may need something like this recycling machine to actually use that. This looks like an MRI machine almost. <laughs> okay, so if I put something in you, can I put some? Okay, so if I put something, let's see what happens. I've got plenty of these now. Let's put you in there. Hit the button. Oh, okay, so it does. It just strips it down to the base level things that you need to actually create it. Okay, so at least if I need some other things, that's where it does it at. That's probably not a good location for the way this launches it out, but that's okay. That's not too bad. So we'll get some of our... Whoops, no. I didn't mean to read... Didn't even try to rename that, but okay. Put all you back up in here. Our... Let's see, we could probably make a couple more iridium rods just so we can clean up some inventory space. Okay, just for reference sakes, in order to be able to find osmium, it is inside caves. So it's not something you get on the cliffs. So there's several different caves in this system that we have not yet even gone into. And we've gone into this one right over there just barely. But there's other caves. Like, we didn't even go up the valley. You know, our starting point, there's an entire path that goes up that direction we did not go to. Ooh, we need to go check our communications board. See if they're happy with our progress. Oh, we got two messages. One from Riley here. I read that you have more chance to succeed if you build your base in altitude. Yeah, I know that. It's because it'll flood. And if managed to heat the planet enough, some caves should become accessible when the ice melts. Okay, so that's probably how we get to some of those ice caves there. Uh, let me see. To whom was, I'm a planet crafter sent from this planet. If you see this means you're near, maybe, you are a planet crafter as well. The weather is atrocious and I'm running out of resources. There's not enough in this barren world to terraform it. I don't know why I chose this. Death would have been more pleasant than this hell. If anyone can help, please do. Um, I don't think I have the ability to send you a supply rocket. <laughs> that would be kind of cool, though. Okay, well, what we need to do next is I need to probably make a... I need to look up and see this whole GPS rocket thing because if we could get a map of where the cave systems are, then we can start looking at some late game stuff. We have one rocket already ready to launch. I'm not going to launch it today, but I at least want to see what the GPS rocket requires. This is something I kind of wish you could see the recipes for this back at the base. Space occupied. I'm aware. I just want to say what I need to launch you. I mean, I know what I need to launch you. It's this big red button right here. We're not going to do that right now. I think what we'll probably do is go ahead and wrap this one up. I think this video has been pretty long. I'm trying to keep them at a relatively decent pace. I'd say we got some stuff done today. We launched some rockets. We got some uranium. We got a bridge going up into the canyons. We got a recycler up there. We got a stupid looking compartment ladder going up. But, you know, it is what it is. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor and leave a like on it. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe if you're not already. In the meantime, you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later.